current location is the chapel in Cheshire. Uh, yet another investigation to follow up what happened a few nights ago when me and Steve heard noises on the bench and on the road behind us is myself, Wayne and Steve that are going to conduct the investigation. We've got several instruments lying around that I'll go over shortly. Just want to quickly talk to Wayne and Steve and see what their thoughts are about tonight's invest. So bear with. Right. Okay, Wayne, you've been at this location a few times. What are your thoughts on this particular location and uh, what might be responsible for the noises that was heard the other night? Well, on previous, loca on previous accounts where we've been here on investigations, uh, I've encountered footsteps in the garden and on the gravel paths. We've seen that we have a force of habit of walking on the grass, so it eliminates our own footsteps. I've uh, personally heard footsteps myself in the location. Uh, going off what you chaps said about the investigation, what you did here the other night, uh, footsteps being heard on the road, um, I have no doubt that something is possibly happening again on the length of time that happens here. Um, as the year goes on, it seems to die down a bit here, but at this time period, we seem to get a lot of activity in this area. I've personally experienced a few things here, so I reckon tonight probably will be a good investigation from what you were saying had happened the other night. Okay, cheers, Wayne. Okay, Steve, we're back at the chapel. What are your thoughts about coming back tonight after what happened uh, a few days ago? Looking forward to it tonight, really, after what we heard the other night, then footsteps on the road, and then bangs, what we heard on the benches. Uh, look, it's well known for footsteps around here and a bit of activity going on. Just looking forward, really, to see what happens as the night goes on. Yeah, that's all we can do, really, isn't it? Yep. Hopefully we'll get plenty of stuff. We'll see, yeah, hopefully, and hopefully we'll have it on video as well. And evidence. Dave, what's your opinion on the location from previous investigations and what happened the other night, mate? Well... We've, we've been here a lot and um, we've visited this place several times and had more than one occasion where there's been multiple anomalies in one night, lots of things going on. As far as the other night goes, um, I'm a little bit disappointed that the audio recorder and that the video recorder didn't manage to pick up the sound of the footsteps. However, it did pick up the sound of what sounded like nap, uh, tapping or banging on the bench. Um, and it does happen a lot of that. We get a lot of noises around here um, and of course mist anomalies and things like that so if we, all we can do really is come back try and figure out what might be responsible for the noises you know try to debunk it and if that's not the case then obviously we uh, it falls into the category of the unknown doesn't it you know yeah I, I totally agree with you there mate I totally agree especially that together we have actually seen things here ourselves and we can vouch for each other's personal experiences here so I'm hoping that we do manage to get something here do you reckon the investigation tonight might actually produce some sort of evidence that could possibly help us with this location? I'm hoping so to be honest with you Wayne because um, as, as you said yourself a second ago we've had personal experiences aplenty, lots of different personal experiences um, but it's, it's getting the evidence personal experiences are great but they prove nothing so we need to get as much evidence as we can with the various different methods and techniques that we use to try and get the evidence and uh, be able to present it to people to see what they think as well because it's only when it goes out there and other people see it can scrutinize it that any kind of judgment can be made upon it so I'm hoping that tonight we can get a little bit of something if not then at least we've had another another few hours in, in a location that we all enjoy coming to because it's pretty quirky and you know where things happen yes i can vouch for that a lot of things has happened here unfortunately we've sometimes not had the right equipment on at the time to catch it would you like to run us through to some of the equipment that we're using tonight i will um tonight if you follow over on the bench here if you can see it from the bench down here we've got the uh the dc box made by steve morgans of uh, southwest ghost uk and essentially that acts like a, a REM pod. It's called the DC box because it um, stands for the direct contact box. And then as it goes around it, it sets off an alarm and 
um, the, the lights, the LEDs start to flicker. A little bit further down here, if you come down this way. No, for you, you show us where we're going, mate. Down in this particular location, we've had uh, like the sound of footsteps and everything anyway, so. Okay, down at this particular location here, uh, we've heard lots of footsteps and things like that in the past. And down on the corner, we've got, uh, this is the Paracensor, made by Steve Morgan, again. It's a proximity detector, which if anything comes anywhere remotely past that, will obviously set off the alarm, which obviously gives us an audible warning, as well as the LEDs light up and it'll tell us the strength of it and whether it's left or right. Um, and then of course we've got EM pumps, EMF meters, uh, digital audio recorders, uh, DSC cameras to get digital stills, um, dual static detectors. Uh, we've got quite a lot of gear with us tonight, so we'll try and we'll, we'll use as much of it as we can. See what happens. Excellent. Yep. I'd just like to point out this other bit of a kit that we, we're going to use. It's inside the case just to protect it from the weather take it out when we're using it so it just stops it getting bumped and banged about and that's the Ovulus 4 which we'll use in dictionary mode, phonetic mode as well as some of the other features maybe not so much as we'll use dictionary and phonetic mode but the uh, draw mode, true or false, that kind of thing um, so we'll use that, it's also got energy detection detects uh, the different strengths in the uh, field just have a look at that day. And that's the other bit of equipment we are using at the moment. As well as the spirit box, we'll be using the PSB7 spirit box and probably the um, Echo Vox app on Android phone, as well as shouting out, walking around and hoping for the best. Yep, and we'll also be taking still pictures to see if we can capture anything else. Absolutely. Right, OK. I'm just going to take Wayne to the location where we heard the footsteps, me and Steve, the other night. You can take some digital still pictures there. See if we uh, we get anything. It's worth a try. Ready when you are. Okay, Wayne. This is the stretch of road where well, we heard the footsteps from here onwards, really. So we we'll take some shots up that road with camera. Yes, I'll, uh, as I'm walking up the road, I'll take some still pictures. Yeah, just see if we get uh, anything. We'll see if we can catch anything. Yep. Uh, every five steps, I'll take a photograph so that we kind of cover the area. On the first week. Yeah. of the camera turning itself off so we can take the next picture we won't know until we get back to our homes and look at the pictures that we've taken that's when we'll find out if we've caught anything so listen further on at a later date on this video or a future video for more information concerning this spot Okay, for the purpose of the video, I'm going to do a live EVP session and see what happens, see if we can get anyone speaking through the recorder. Is there any spirits here with us What like to communicate with us? If there is, can you please speak through the red light? Is there any of the monks with us? If there is, would you like to communicate with us and speak into the red light? Please say your name. If there is anyone with us, any spirits around, would like to communicate with us, can you please say your name and speak into the recorder with the red light, please? Is 
that any of the spirits what tended the guardians what tended the guardians here if there is would you like to communicate with us please speak into the red light Okay, just put the paracenter in situ on the wall near the chapel we'll look in the gardens. That's me setting it off there. Uh, but there you go. So if anything sets that off, it's gone in front of the sensors. And we've also set up the DC box. Distance away from ourselves. See if we can't get something to react to it by giving a few shouts. I'm calling any spirits, any spirits around here. If there's anyone here, can you please come towards our box and light it up, please? any of our brothers around here if you'd like to come to us one of the boxes please come to set them off Please come forward if you'd like to communicate with us towards our boxes. We'll know that you've uh, set one of our instruments off, please. anyone with us around on spirits on the spirit world or the realm please come forward towards one of our instruments to let us know that you are with us if you'd look, like to communicate do you want to give a shout Steve? Calling on any spirits to come forward, please come forward to communicate with us and speak into our instrument. If there is any spirits around, would you like to say hello? We mean you no harm, no harm at all, we're only here to communicate with you, if you'd like to communicate with us, please say hello. If there is any spirits, you can say hello. You can come to us one of our instruments or you can make a bang to start your communication with us please. No, I can't believe how quiet that obulus is. Mm, it's gone really quiet, isn't it? Yeah, give it a go, babe. 
seen that we've been here a few times and using the obvious on the voice box uh, we've had a couple of responses through it when it's been scanning through the frequencies one of the sessions that we did we managed to get um, a brother Wilfred if there's a brother Wilfred Great. here who would like to make or try to communicate with us please use the instruments that we have in front of us to Great. talk to us please Good. Great. If that's you trying to communicate with us, please try again. Brother Wilfred, if you are here, please come forward and communicate with us. We mean you no harm. You've seen us before. You've tried to communicate with us before. If there is a Brother Wilfred here, I'm asking you to come forward now and try to communicate with us again. Okay, an obvious session in phonetic mode that I mounted to not. So I'll try it in dictionary mode and see if anything comes from that. Street. Brown. Three brown. Street brown. Please use the energies around us to try to communicate. If there's any monks, fathers or priests that would like to make themselves known. Can you give us a name of someone who is here? Is there anybody there from the world of spirit that would like to make contact with us? Please speak into the blue box. Can you please say hello? Can you please say hello? Anybody there from the world of spirit, can you please say hello to us? Can you please say one of our names? If there's anybody there who would like to make contact, can you please say hello through the blue light? Please say the names of one of us here. Can you please try to communicate, please?
Okay, not a great deal happening. We've tried various uh, different experiments and techniques to try and um, prompt some kind of response and nothing. So we're going to have a walk through the woods where we've been before and experience one or two anomalies just to see if uh, we pick up on anything. Here's open. You still got your meter on you, Steve? Mm. Used to be a lot more, uh, mm. yeah, enclosed, didn't it? Okay Steve, now we're coming towards the end of the invest. How do you feel like tonight's gone really? A disappointing really, it's been very little activity tonight. Very little is 
just seems pretty quiet and calm around here tonight for some reason. Really peaceful. I've, I've had a few odd feelings and heard a few bangs and noises. Apart from that, not really much really tonight. Maybe next time, eh? Yeah, maybe next time. Okay, Wayne, what are your thoughts about tonight? Well, tonight, normally on this location, what we normally come to, it's uh, proving to be like it normally is. We get the odd nights where it is pretty quiet. This happens to be one of them nights where it's quite loud. We've very rarely got uh, some activity. Uh, where other nights it can be very active, uh, uh, numerous bangs, anomalies, shadow people even. But tonight's been very quiet. Heard a lot of animal noises tonight. Uh, took a lot of still photographs. They've yet to be coming out and see what we've caught on them. Caught a few walls, but with the amount of mist what's knocking about in the area tonight, I'm expecting them to be water droplets in the air, what we've caught. But when we get them on the computer and get them home and examine them a bit more, maybe something might occur in them. But tonight, at this particular location, I would turn around and say it's been a very peaceful one. Like I said, we've been here a few times and we've had a couple of these nights here, but we've been here a couple of times before and we've had some real good uh, results from the investigations. I'm not going to write the place off. We've been doing it now for a couple of years, this place, at least five or six years, this place. It has its up and downs. We're starting to begin to think that it might even be seasonal with some of the activity, what's going on here. And when it's starting to come into like spring and summer now, this is when the time of the area starts to settle down a bit. Although we still get activity in the summertime, but mainly I would say that we get it at night um, in winter time. And because of that, and we're coming into summer, I think it could be dying down a little bit. But we'll keep, keep coming back and hoping that we can get something uh, scientifically proven on the area and hope that we can uh, catch something that we can post on a further date on our videos. Thanks Wayne. No problem mate.